the Rhythm Nation go. Rhythm Nation. I dress like that. What's up? I'm Slam and Sam. I'm a DJ, actor, philanthropist, proclaimed Renaissance man. When I'm not in the studio, I'm diving into my hobbies and exploring many interests. With that comes my personal uncensored insights, anything and everything. Yeah, what's up ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out on this Monday night, December 12th, here in Oakland, Oakland. for another Oakland. episode of The Slam Show. Happy holidays, everyone. Man, I'm really excited for this program because just on the pre-show, we're just having so much <laughs> incredible dialogue with Pretty our special guest <laughs> and my co-host. I can't wait to get started. But before I get into anything, I want to give a special shout out to Davino's over in Pleasant Hill for providing the good eats, the great pizza and all that good stuff. Uh, props out to Brianna that hooked it up. And also Captain Fantastic over in Florida. She's the one that hooked up the entire uh catering for tonight so thank you captain thank you captain yep yep yep, yep. and before i get started i want to go ahead and introduce who we have on the panel first off is my co-host he was here previously but he just loves the slam show so much love it he had to come back again yeah i'm back and you are back let's have a big round of applause for lawrence everyone thank you thank you thank you more money, please. <laughs> How are you feeling, brother? I'm feeling great. Fantastic. Dude, we, we're, we're, before we get into anything, uh, I, I'm going to have to introduce our special guest tonight. I'm because special. Yes. It, she's very special. Yes, she is. Yeah. and So if, special. <laughs> if the pre-show was in, in any indication, it's going to be an incredible episode. She's just a renaissance woman to the 10th degree. At does does <laughs> so many things, and we're just going to just call her... By her nickname. Let's have a big round of applause for Vic Knives, everyone. Vic Knives. Glad to be here. You guys are pretty funny. Yeah. I was pr I was enjoying the pre-show. Yeah. Pretty excited. Hey, it, that was your pre-show. We're a fan. Oh, it's mine. Great. Yeah. Exactly. Like exactly. And obviously, special shouts out to Rock Rage. That's behind the scenes making everything happen. Our studio audience in the house. We have. Uh, Mr. N uh, Vic Knives, the fiance. <laughs> Mr. N no, actually, they call me Mr. Vic Knives on stage sometimes. Wow. <laughs> you. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, an MC, T.L. Miller, messed up my name. He thought it was a guy, I guess. Wow. Called me Mr. Vic Knives. Um, and it stuck, I guess. But no, Mr. The real Mr. Vic Knives' yes. name is Lorian Burry. There you go. Um, he's yeah, right. a, Let's he's a, a musician little. in Sacramento. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Right. And we have uh, Mr. Lawrence's... Uh, offspring. Yes, my offspring. Diego in the house. So we do have a offspring. audience <laughs> kicking it tonight. So this is this is an exciting show. I'm really excited to get everything going. So yeah, first off, I want to give shouts out to Joe from Perler Portraits Plus because she put together a great framed special item that stands behind me. Yes. <gasps> she did it for the Slam Show because she is a new sponsor. And just go on Facebook. You'll just type in Perler Portraits Plus, and you'll check out all she does. She'll do custom framework in this pixelated, unique way. I just can't describe it. But as you can tell, it is incredibly unique. Slamming. Pretty slamming. And <laughs> she could take it from a regular photo, or if you just gave her an idea, she would just go off that and create it organically. Mm -hmm. Check her out. And... Joe, thank you very much for putting that together, and we're going to get you on the program for sure at a later date. Thank you, Joe. Yes, Thanks, yes. Joe. Also, be sure to follow me on social media at I Am Slamming, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. And coming up this week for me on Wednesday, December 14th, is my weekly mix show on Facebook, the Slam and Mix Show at eight o'clock Pacific time. So be sure to check that out. And I've I've been getting a great response. I mean, we the viewership has gone up with that. I'm really excited. People have been commenting, chatting, just interacting throughout the two hours of the program. Oh, so it's good jams, man. Oh, I'm trying. Yeah, awesome. it's good that's jams. A, that's I'm a great trying. audience. I hope to see you in there, Vic. I'd love to come. Yeah, I'd love just to be there. Just go there. It's on. Yeah. I am slamming on Facebook. Oh yeah, I'm already there. Get in yeah, the mix. I'm there. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm all I'm all thinking I'm not on the ball. I am this time. Yes, <laughs> yes. You don't physically have to well, be there. Well, not like right now, but like you just, on media. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's on the it's on the virtual domains. Yes. How's that? So check that out this Wednesday, the 14th at 8 o'clock Pacific time. Also, this Friday, I will be live in the mix at the club venue over at Church <laughs> Ward Pub, 1515 Park Street in Alameda. So if you're not doing anything, come out and support. Mention my name. You'll get in for free. It's a good time. I play everything across the board, old and new. It's just an incredible time. So please come out this Friday. Uh, and, yeah, the Church Ward Pub Church over Ward in Pub. Alameda. It's jamming. Exactly, exactly. So let's get started with the program. Our special guest, we met for the first time over at the Scatter Comics Expo, the 25th anniversary yeah. a few weeks back, uh, along with my fiance. And we just connected there. We knew yeah. we knew of your work through the whole cosplay contests as <laughs> one of the characters. Yeah. And uh, they, they had to they had to put me on the judging panel. Exactly. They, had they to were put like you on they're like you can't keep doing this. Yeah, because you keep winning. <laughs> by default. It's kinda no, like I'm not, it's, I mean, it's, I'm not trying to say that, but I'm trying to say that I always won them. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like DJ Cuber when he does the DJ oh, con it's competitions. It's, it's like it's they, they are like you be a, you be a judge now. Yeah. Well, yeah, and and Jason Duby is also like the sweetest person. He he loves reaching out to people and like incorporating people into his yeah his yeah. like collective of awesome artists. I exactly. Jason has always been a, a great guy. I've known him for mm -hmm. since right. the early two thousands, and he's always looked out for everyone in the community. Jason, uh, he's the creator of Scattered Comics. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, this young lady, she is totally making herself well known in the <laughs> cosplay community, as well as other ventures that oh, she lot. seems to be very successful at. Once again, let's have a big round of applause for Vic Knives, everyone. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and she has like crazy nicknames too. Like, what's what's how did the whole Victoria Augusto or? Oh yeah. Um. So like, my name's Victoria Augusto. But that's your I real have, name. Yeah. My my real name is Victoria Augusto. Oh, All right, guys. So, um, so as of as of now. There oh. you go. Um, now everyone go to the deep web and find out everything about deep her. Deep web. Find me to show my career. <laughs> uh, but I'm I am a, a teacher. So. Uh, there are certain certain venues where you don't exactly want your kindergartners to to be like following you around, being like, "You're dressed up as my favorite character." Yeah. Let's let's talk about Batman and Rocky or a picture show all day, and I'm like, "No, let's talk about math. Like, <laughs> yeah. we need to learn what the dividend and the divisor are. Let's not work about Batman. That's for recess." Oh. <laughs> Lawrence loves math. Oh yes. Oh, I love math. Math is good. I am pri I'm better at English, but I like math. Math is fun. Better at math and English than either history or science. Uh, now, the other nickname is the Elise or... Al Elise, that's yeah. my middle name. Okay, um, so I, you just have these variations. I went, yes, I went Victoria Elise on Facebook uh, to keep myself from being searchable by my students, even on my personal oh, profile. Oh, smart. Um, and then I have... Make a note of that. I will. Yes, and, and there's also a setting where you can make it so they can't... Even if they were to search for your specific name, you can't be searched unless you are... A friend of a certain friends with a certain amount of their friends. Wow. Yeah, you got to look into your stuff. I guess. <laughs> Time to hide the Watch. shady. Time I don't. Mm -mm, I don't want my friend, my students being like, "Let's be friends." I'm like, "I'm not your friend. I'm sending you to the principal because you're a jerk today." <laughs> We're not friends. If you, my friends don't pee on my lap. <laughs> Kindergartner. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I only the good them. ones. Only well, the ones. They make you pay them too. It's terrible. See, that's <laughs> really smart of her to know that. No, no, the um, private well, settings and I stuff. Well, and then that. even when I perform, I have another layer of separation. It's like um, an onion and shit. Yeah, wow. I got layers. I'm like an ogre. I like it. But like, like prettier, it. and I don't get those little things. <laughs> um, but uh, my my stage name is Vic Knives. Uh, my my fiance helped give me that one. Um, I, I think he just looked at me one day and went, Vic Knives, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, Damn. what? Damn. I'm like, All right. what? That's aggressive. And he goes, he goes, you're aggressive. Everything you do, you do with the rusty knife. <laughs> and I said, I'm like, you know you, the, that's so accurate. I'm keeping it. You know and what's it's funny? been that ever since. You know what's funny? You bringing up the whole rusty knife thing because, uh, uh, yes, no. need a rusty keep, knife. On Saturday, <laughs> we did a private event, right? Mm -hmm. Over in in our neck of the woods, oh, it was yeah. an ugly sweater Chris, Christmas party. I love ugly sweater Christmas party. Yeah, we oh should have invited you. Yeah, well, sure we and came if you out. get but an ugly sweater on, people aren't like checking out your chest all day. Like, yes, ugly sweater. Yeah, and then you can just like get drunk with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we DJed this. 
private party, and it was fine Ooh, at private, the very beginning. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah, very ex- impressive. Exactly. It was. <laughs> it was at like some estates mansion thing. But anyways. Uh, oh, just for the mansion. Hughes. A private, Hughes. A private a guy named party Hughes something. Mansion. I can't not remember that, his name. Not that I'm impressive or anything. <laughs> Have I tossed my head enough? <laughs> So tell me more about my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, er, check this you. out. Check this out. We're we're gonna share the story because it's it's hella funny. It, everything was fine. The the client that hired it us, cool. it was cool at the beginning. Yes. But it, it always starts out cool. It took <laughs> a turn for the worse toward the end. And then it all went wrong. Oh, it yeah. went south because of certain. Uh, oh come on, give me the details. Yeah. You know you want to. Certain additional things that you could put into Re- your body. Okay, who got drunk? Re- who took pills? <laughs> 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 Somebody did something wrong. That so. they, as a teacher, like crack is whack. <laughs> yeah, uh, see, you're, don't drink and drive. You're putting, you're putting your teacher <laughs> hat on right now to For figure it out. For a minute, the mic is on. <laughs> <laughs> so as it turned out, there were a lot of substances being exchanged and altercations oh, and no. stuff like that, and so. Uh, it got to the point where I was kind of concerned. Yes. And uh, I disappeared for a second to take care of business because it was at the end of the night. Yes. And this gentleman, he was my assistant for the evening. He was overly concerned, like thinking that, <laughs> oh, like, no. like, what do you mean? And there's going to be a confrontation, but there wasn't. Everything turned out well. Yes. But go to your it, corner. Go to your corner. Yeah. Exactly. But it was just aiming in that direction, Vic, mm. that there was going to be some Could hostility, be. but yeah. there wasn't any. Yes. And That's on good. the way, it's on good when you can make a, a it, dangerous. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hard situation positive exactly so on the way back uh, Lawrence was talking about his experiences being a bodyguard and and doing security and stuff and he brought up about him being stabbed and I asked him you got your stabbing story yeah yes, my do. dad was a bodyguard he has a stabbing story and you get I, stabbed by somebody <laughs> and I know teachers with stabbing I think stories. I think it's a requirement we all need to get stabbed someday. yep exactly at someday okay <laughs> kindergarten all teachers right. too all right so <laughs> The whole bloody or rusted knife thing, brought, I brought it up. What, did, was it? And he said, no, it was like a clean one, br- straight bought oh right from the store, used to stab him at the moment. <laughs> yep. So it was like a good, clean it's a nice, cut. It's Definitely nice cut. premeditated. Yeah. I mean, yep. exactly. I exactly. bought it for this purpose. I, I have my stabbing knife at nine. Thank God it was sterilized. I, uh, <laughs> Yoga at eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you brought up that that point, it w- kind of connected with that story. So uh, yeah, I, I yeah, had to bring that, that, up. that would be a very scary situation. Yeah, to be s- like stabbed. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, and explain your whole ordeal real quick. How you almost went into shock, and oh, how, yeah, and how yeah. your body got warm instead of cold. I was I was yeah yeah yeah. Well, well, to begin, I something I didn't tell you is that I have a thing about <laughs> blood to begin with, mm. and. And so I passed out. I do out too. I love it. And <laughs> <laughs> it puts me out in sweats. And so and and so when the incident happened and the person and went about a quarter of an inch away from my lung, and yeah, I was really really close. Glad yeah. you're here. Glad and I know the end of the story already. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, my my uh, su- supervisor got the guy, and he's. You know, Al Wallace, thank you, Al Wallace, for saving my life. Uh, former <laughs> that Marine. That is a good use of a shout out. Yeah, former Marine. He just like took this guy down. There in are one no swoop. former Marines, <laughs> only Marines. <laughs> and took him down one swoop, and um, yeah, he just he grabbed him by the throat, put him down, and but he kept Darth on. Vader. Al was all, Lawrence, you're okay. You're okay. Lawrence, stay with me, son. Stay with me. <laughs> like, stay with me. And and I was like, oh, I'm just a little hot. It's open. And then he would like push on the wound. Pressure. Yeah, to pressure, pressure on but it. boy, I think he was pushing on it just to keep me awake. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, was a, it was a marine technique. It was a marine, keep it like, conscious. <laughs> like, you know, he had the death grip on my on my chest and everything. I mean, but at least he didn't, like, stick his finger in it or something. Well, you know, he actually, he did. Ah, he was rude. fingering you. He was fingering ah. me. I, 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 How do you like it? There's a <laughs> brief moment of intimacy. Finger. That's why we're kind of close. Right in me, like, why me would now, you enjoy that? You know, me and Al are kind of close right now. So I mean, I've never complained about anything like that, but... But, Especially but I, if it's life saving. <laughs> yeah, it was. But the thing is, I I started sweating. You know, I started sweating. Usually, you 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 start getting feeling cold, but yeah. I I broke out into heat, and that but that's because I started to pass out. Mm-hmm. I started getting overheated, and the next thing you know, the wave of coldness. I was like, oh, I'm feeling yeah, cold. Yeah, you get super hot and then crazy cold. And he Al just kept on <laughs> pushing on the wound. Kept on fucking <laughs> fingering <laughs> you. <laughs> it's like finger just, fucking. How you like this? <laughs> Stay away. I'm like alive. It. Call me daddy. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> He's a you're marine. Right, yeah, I, he's a marine. Remember. I might. I'm like, what? yes, father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, daddy. Whatever you needed. Like, yes, sir. 
<laughs> Anytime. Yes, sir, Master Sergeant. Fifteen times. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry yeah. to bring up this story. This uh, took a turn. I don't weird think time. I have any cool like near death <laughs> no, experience. No, but, you know, a lot of injuries, but no deaths. Oh, it's it was. Thank goodness, you know, Al, you know, brought me through. And, thank uh, you, Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank yeah. you, Al. Save because us. we have the incredible Lawrence here on the Slam <laughs> Show, <laughs> alive and well. So, getting back on track. Yeah, track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're talking about talking the death and blood. <laughs> yeah, on the Slam Show. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's let's reboot a little bit as far as cosplay. Mm. How did you get involved knowing that there was there's a lot that goes into it to doing it professionally? Because the community, it's like they expect you to create everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. None of this buying shit off eBay or from China or whatever. Yes. You have to go ahead and, yes. and make it right. Did you take on that challenge knowing that, hey, this is what I'm getting myself into. I have to do it the right way. Because at contests, they're, they'll break it down like, oh, how did you do this? Oh, well, I actually got it from so-and-so. Then -so. you're already disqualified. Mm, yeah. oh, you out. cannot win craftsmanship if, you've, if exactly. you've bought it or had someone outside of your immediate party make it. Exactly. Wow. So going into that universe, were you totally prepared knowing that there was going to be a lot of work involved? Yes. Okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, be more detailed. <laughs> no, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to sound like braggadocious or, or big-headed or... Synonyms. Well, you already have, but it's um, fine. <laughs> well, yeah, We're past that not, point. not like a dick. Okay, I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Just be honest here. Um, my mother, Wendy Augusto, is like my hero. And props she out to Wendy Augusto. Props out to Wendy Augusto mm -hmm. for pushing me into the world. Um, <laughs> she is an amazing woman and has been making my costume since I was like very young. Wow. Uh, she would hand sew my costumes. Oh, my gosh. And I got to a certain age where I'm like, Mom, on Halloween, and it was on Halloween. I didn't know what cosplay was. Before then, and I was like, and how old were you? Um, uh, ever since I can remember, this is like, like I was like nine, eight. Like okay. She would hand sew my costumes, wow. and I think when I was nine, I was Galadriel for, um, oh, for, for oh. like, like right when Lord of the Rings came out, I was Galadriel. Oh my gosh! And then my sister was Arwen, and I thought that was rude because she was older than me, and I'm like, you should be Galadriel. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be blonde. Deal with it. <laughs> um, brunettes. Um, <laughs> but uh, so. Uh, I, I started getting older, and I'm like, you're losing all this sleep. Your hands always hurt. Let's get a machine. We'll learn how to do it together. Yeah. Oh, um, nice. So I you went I to Walmart and got one? Yeah, we, we got like a $100 Brother sewing machine, like the basic one. Yeah. And we got a pattern, and we're like, we're going to learn how to sew. That's awesome. And oh we're going to – well, she already knew how to sew, and uh, so I could not figure out patterns. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I'm just going to make my own patterns because they make more sense if I make it myself. So I, w I would make patterns and make stuff for myself. And then in freshman year high school, there was a, a a dance report, and my friends and I decided to do Hari Hari Yukai oh my in, a, in Kingdom Hearts costumes. Oh, my gosh. And my first honest-to-God cosplay, my hair was dyed red with, like, the same washed-out red dye that I have it in now. And I was Axel. Oh, my and God. I, like, I wore, like, a chest bind, and, like, a, I made my own black cloak. Wow. And I dyed my hair red and put it and like, Tried to use gel to make it stick up, which was a terrible idea. I just had dreadlocks <laughs> and painted the little the little points. So I've I've actually been making my own costumes from scratch since before I knew what cosplay was. That's awesome. Shortly wow. shortly after that, I learned what cosplay was, mm -hmm. and I've been um, making my own patterns, making my own props, making my own like everything, even down to the patterns, is fabricated at my house. So you weren't a cosplayer by being exposed to cosplay. You you are a cosplayer, just kind of like the nature. Of, yeah, of, my of mom the, is just an artist. Wow. So she's a painter. And so your a, mom and a was your inspiration. Yeah, my mom always Mom's great. was always will go. be my inspiration. That's great. Um, Thank you, mom. She's amazing. Thank, Thank you, you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy, mom. Thank Props you, out to Wendy. Wendy Sue Augusto for being the best woman in We're the world. We're coming over. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna come over. We'll like make margaritas, and we'll do <laughs> some costumes. Yeah, we'll just make margaritas and sew costumes. It's pretty great. Um, so yeah, my uh, my first cosplay was Axel. That was pretty fun. Um, so uh, my my I think the my favorite thing I've ever fabricated from scratch is uh, my from my Weeping Angel costume. Okay. Um, I made these giant gray wings. Oh my god. That went up to here and down to my ankles, oh, and wow. they folded in and then spread out. Wow. And there was mechanically. Uh, well, I, I had to do it with my hands. Gotcha, there, there gotcha. Were, there was a like a, a diamond pi diamond with pivot joints here. Oh my gosh! And pivot joints here, and then an extending steel rod, which was made from a broken down sh like shoe rack oh, thing. And Genius. then I bolted yeah. it to a a wooden board, which I built straps onto, 
covered it in fabric, had ladder locks so they would lock open. Nice. And then covered it in feathers and then gray fur at the top for down feathers. Okay. And I won best intermediate craftsmanship at Sinister Creature Con. Jeez, wow. Um, that's my favorite thing I've ever made. Um, I made a couple more pair for a movie in mm-hmm. LA um, in black. They were fun. You're like wow. the female Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I would love to. I've, I've t- not, my dad looks like Tony Stark. Um, and does just as much business. Really? <laughs> yes, he, he does. Is, is he a womanizer as well? A <laughs> bit. Or a billionaire? <laughs> he and my mother are no longer married, but he is happily married now. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that, I'm sorry to touch I, a little I, sensitive issue. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> because she I, got quiet all no, of a sudden. No, I'm, I'm not sensitive about it, but I'm definitely not going to put my dad's dirty laundry <laughs> out there. <laughs> you, can, you can call Robert Augusto and Whoa. ask him yourself. <laughs> I believe he is happily married to to a Lisa Augusto, and she is a lovely woman. All right, there you go. <laughs> she, I think it took Lisa to like get him under control. She gotcha. was like, "You are my husband now." He's like, "Yes, ma'am." <laughs> yeah, your penis <laughs> is not going anywhere. No, <laughs> that stays it. in this house. That's like that mouse; it's staying there. Yeah, it is registered. Let's all talk about my dad's dick right now. <laughs> Pretty sure it curves to the left. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. Let's be honest. He's right leaning. <laughs> Vic, Vic, I'm left leaning. Vic, we're we're creating visuals here. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, here picture in, it. Everyone, picture a freaking... George Clooney, Tony Stark mashup penis, and it's my father. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. I, I am just turning off my visual memory right now. This only hurts you. See, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have that superpower. Us I guys will, are like us freaking, men are like I trying can, to figure it out right I now. I am a woman and can control my thoughts. <laughs> What a genius. It's a superpower. <laughs> She's a meta. Another meta. Oh, my goodness. Now, <laughs> getting back on course. I'm sorry. I'm foolish. No, no, no. This no, is no. beautiful. This is great dialogue. I know this is I am, show. Are you? We're probably blowing up the internet <laughs> at this point. Blow it up. Now, as far as what you want to cosplay, what goes into that decision making? Mm. Are, you li- are you just like uh. in a certain mood? Do you see something on TV like, okay, I'm going to aim for that? Because it takes the time. Yes, it does. To oh, create yeah, the, it, the outfits. So it's um, not something spontaneous. Yeah, it. there's a lot of things that go into it, and it is costume specific. Uh, if it's like local, like smaller uh, comic book companies that aren't like, uh, they're not like, uh, uh, like Dark Horse or right, like not the not the bigger companies, not like the me, big like, three. Like when I'm working with Scattered and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They'll they'll show me what they're working on, and yeah, I'll be yeah. like, hey. That looks like your main character that would work well in a booth mm. that would that I like yeah. that I connect well with. Mm. I'm gonna make that costume. You want me to work at your booth? And then when someone shows up with your costume already ready, even if they don't hire me, I enjoyed making the costume. Right, right. But when it comes to more like like general cosplays that I'm doing just for me, mm-hmm. um, that's what I'm talking about. Those come down to uh, sometimes I have friends that request things. Mm-hmm. I uh, I uh. did have a friend. Uh, oh, I can announce my next cosplay on here. Please? I have not announced my next cosplay to anyone but close friends. Um, oh, we feel here. privileged. Yes, privileged. Everyone out there. Um, uh, my next cosplay I'm working on is Jack from Mass Effect. Okay. Um, oh, I nice. have a mohawk anyway. Um, and it's right in. Well, and people have seen, me, well, especially without my glasses and everything. Right, right. Um, and they saw me. Gosh, you're like, like yeah, freaking yeah. Clark Kent and Superman. You right? just totally changed. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd, I, that's crazy. Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have really big eyes that hide behind my glasses. I think Clark Kent did too. Just those eyelashes. I even get Amazing. a Superman curl. Yeah, I got yeah. My hair. Yeah. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, we I have Superman our, our, new Tony Stark, our newest like, guest that just walked in. Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> well, and my fiance calls me Hulk. I've kicked off three doors on accident. Whoa. Totally accident. I just, I like tapped it and it fell off. Like This is one that is Like three anger. or four times. Three or four times. <laughs> this wasn't an no, anger No, I was, was just it? leaving. It, and it's there okay. Was, it's okay. You can be transparent those, on the show. Those push doors. And I was like, I'm going to be super dope. Kick. Oh, fuck. I broke it. Fuck, 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 wow. run, run, everyone run. <laughs> I can't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't my fault, but I'm going to pretend it was because that makes me feel cool. Yeah, <laughs> makes you feel responsible. I can be Hulk and Iron Man and, yeah. like, Superman. Like, I'll, I'll just be super awesome. That's so, awesome. So the cosplay specific Oh, yeah, picks. that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so I get, I get requests from friends. My mm-hmm. next one is going to be Jack from Mass Effect, and that was, like, I had seven different people tell wow. me. That whenever they saw the character, they thought of me. That's so awesome. Yeah. So, well, there you go. No brainer. Um, I'll, sometimes I'll, I'll pick a, an iconic female character that just looks like a badass. Like, I, I like cosplaying women that are going to 
be like more respected than the general male character. Right, right. Like yeah. that are they're fighters. They're not ashamed of themselves. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Their body, yeah. their opinion. Uh, my favorite character. Someone asked me in the lead up actually to the show what my favorite character to cosplay was, and uh, I took some thinking. But Isabella from Dragon Age Two. Oh, oh okay. okay. She. Uh, I was in a panel at Sack Anime as Isabella. Right. And right. I had to be in character with the whole British accent and everything. It was super. Can awful. we hear it? Oh, I haven't practiced that in a while. Um, <laughs> but it's a lot about like rounding your vows, Ooh. and um, you have to sound like you're you're better than everybody. Most mm. impressive. It's, it's not even that good because I haven't practiced it in like a year. Come on, Sean Connery. <laughs> um, I am. Um, there, my mom always has this ru Russian accent. She she calls herself Big Lady, and bi <laughs> Big Lady, Big Lady will have a lot to say to Little Lady, and I am Little Lady. And uh, when when we will go out, we will order beets. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like rock or or beats and vodka. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a conversation with these two. I love it. Um, yeah, so uh, those are fun. Um, but yeah, so Isabella, I had to do like a British accent, and I right. worked nice. with a group for like a, a year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, right now, I'm working with an archer cosplay group to be Katya Casanova. Nice. Okay. Um, the cyborg version with the red eyes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you ever? Course. Have you ever? If you don't mind me asking, have you ever gotten to a point where you're you're going to be this character, but next thing you know, like somewhere midway as you're making a costume, you said, you know what, I would rather be this. Like you, um, you suddenly change. Like I mean, like for Canola's dose, um, <laughs> I, I've cosplayed four different characters from like the same comic book. Oh, really? Um, I, I I get used to that with uh, doing Rocky Horror. Like I've I've been six characters in yeah. Rocky Horror. Um, I, I have no problem being. Mayumi, uh, Jessica, and Firewire, all in Scattered. Wow. Are all in uh, just Shadowhunters. Yeah, nice. Um, Jason Doobie's so universe. So if I, if I start a costume, the more I work with it, the more I fall in love with it. Uh. Yeah. And so I like, I like fall in love with the stitches of it. I, I fall in love with the way I put a seam up the side. And I can't it's just committed. put it down. It's, not, it's like not being fair Correct. to the yeah. material I put together. Yeah. So if I, if I fall in love with something else, then I guess my workload doubled. You got two for the workload? Well, I... I I, f I think the the secret to all of me getting what I have done because everyone always asks how you get so much done is just don't put don't put limitations on yourself because you can always accomplish exactly. more than you think. Nice. Yeah. Um. If you if you always say this is this is just what I can accomplish this is my limit like you know barring health side effects and all that um if you say this is my limit and I won't push myself further then you will never be greater. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Thank you. And at twenty four, right? Yeah. Super there you smart. go. Yee yee. So now, let's talk now as far as being able to work the cons and these appearances and stuff like that. Do you enjoy the attention like yes. little kids coming up and it's asking okay. for pictures? Um, when kids ask for pictures, it's the best. That is yeah. literally yeah. the best part because yeah. um, the little kids are excited and it's a completely innocent, pure excitement. Yes, absolutely. It's, they're not looking at you like, I bet I can hug you and lift you up and get a picture up your skirt. Um, Whoa! So that happened to me at my first convention. Wow. Uh, what? Yes. What? Uh, what I was cosplaying. Um, or Jessica. Wait a second. Autumn. Autumn okay. from uh, Panda Days. And really? I was wearing this uh, a short plaid skirt. Real and, short. And uh, this bigger gentleman, uh -oh. bigger, broader gentleman, mm -hmm. and then shorter gentleman came yeah. up and said, You'd like a picture? And I said, Sure. And we took a picture. And then he said, Can I get a hug? And sometimes they get hugs. I'm mm -hmm. like, Sure. And I hugged him and he picked me up. And then I saw a flash go off. And I'm like, oh. wow. And then he dropped me and said, thanks, bye. And I turned around and his friend was gone. Wow. wow. And it's, it's uh, women get a that's, lot of that's harassment. Wow. That's Stealthy pretty, sleeves. Yeah, that's yeah. really yeah. diabolical. It's, it is. They, it was clearly a plan. Yeah. Luckily, I'm really proud of the way SAC Anime and some of the other uh, conventions that have been working with cosplay does not equal consent. Um, like saying, I always ask permission before pictures. Nice. If you're harassing a, a con goer, you'll be kicked out. Nice. A lot of the conventions have done a really good job answering, right, like right. at least projecting a we do not tolerate that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. think there has to be strict rules on that, especially yes. so that's the winner. that's the only downside to working cons. Other than that, yeah. I've I've made some of my best longest friends there. Um, I've I've found groups that you know led to very 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 long lasting deep friendships. Um, I, I have I have people I look forward to seeing at cons like Skyrad, he's amazing. He just got to see the he was at the red carpet Rogue nice. One premiere. Mm -hmm. Um, that's S K Y E R A D D. He is crazy impressive. His Jedi is like movie accurate. Wow. He's so impressive. From scratch, like. Um, yeah, he makes it all himself. I think he built his own lightsaber. What? It's there you go. 
like I I like what I do, but he is kind of cosplay goals for me. He commits to things. He did a and like an Itman Star Wars yeah. crossover thing. Wow. Recently, it was so good. Wow. Yeah, I like he's who I work, look up to. Yeah. There um, you go. And a Jennifer Raven song. She's pretty good. She's uh she makes some great ball gowns. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. See, as you can tell, because I've dabbled in cosplay. Uh, the community is addicted. Yeah, yeah. Doing the. <laughs> Doing the stuff for Shadowhunters, and mm-hmm. I, you, I, I think your fiance did the exact character Dat as well. Yes, and he was Dat I, while I was yeah. Mayumi. Yeah, he and was I my did. Guard. I did my rendition of Dat, and mm-hmm. uh, Sage. She did. I, I, I believe it was. Yeah, she was my, Mayumi. Yeah, exactly. So we're it's, it's kind of like weird how it's, <laughs> it's all connecting. We did the same thing. We're both mm-hmm. couples. Anyways, right. It's it's very perfect. We can just trade people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just we're like all interchangeable. Figures. Yeah, exactly. Just like swing away. Can take you. I'll take. Yeah, you so know, you guys, you boys can do whatever. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm more interested in her. You, you wait, misunderstood wait, wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she, hey, she's the, the one on the cover. I'm drawing the line right there. <laughs> oh, I don't like lines. <laughs> <laughs> Boundaries, rude. <laughs> so, <laughs> how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> I, I've had my experiences with s- dozens of cons: Comic Con, Wonder Con, mm-hmm. Sack Anime, and everything. And the community, as you were saying, it's tight. It, the cosplay community really mm-hmm. looks out for each other but then you're going to have a certain type of crowd where it's almost like they don't look at it to where it's 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 proper in a lot of ways like for example how many times have you gone around and been freaking it doesn't matter if it's guy or girl the hygiene is so bad and like oh my oh god no. how many how many people did you hug <laughs> And does anyone ever? I mean, if I freaking put hugs up, a nice word. If I uh, if I put up a vendor booth for deodorant, I would make a killing. Oh my god! At cons, I well, will. well, no, 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 because, because that would assume they value deodorant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Clearly, there's the problem. Yeah. So um, how how do you, how would you deal with that when you're like taking the pictures and stuff, and all of a sudden it's like, set a Boy. good example. Set a good example. Hold your breath. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, uh, I mean, you know, you wear deodorant, wear perfume yourself. Yeah, um, exactly. Look out for yourself. Uh, but largely, at, you but know, sometimes are, are we on some the, we're in the same agreement, right? I agree. Right? I think, <laughs> honestly, I blame the venue. Uh, the venues need better AC, better air circulation. Because ah, with, with, when you have that many people in that space. I agree. It's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen. You're going to yeah. be sweaty. I mean, more can happen on both sides. Yeah. And deodorant. AC, you know, a little yeah, bit it's of a combination. Both. Yeah, yeah, I love They're it when I'm at a booth near a window. Oh, oh. that's the most or a beautiful door. thing. And it's s- great, just go out for a smoke break yeah. or like go <laughs> grab some tacos. Yeah, grab Taco Bell. The last two cons, it was great. There you go. You can't beat Taco. Taco uh, Bell. Taco Give me a Bell. spot. Just, just sponsor me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't no, I blame. I just like Taco Bell. Give me cheesy gordita crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Nachos Bel Grande. Tacos oh. all day. <laughs> I don't blame certain cosplayers that have like outfits that are just they're they're gonna sweat regardless because it's just it's With like all the Godzilla yeah. armor and yeah. the tight that big Titan yeah. cosplayer. And, and I, I I understand that, but even those guys they know how to make sure. I they're found good. a lot of them smell the least because they're insulated and it's all just reflected back at them. There you go. So I mean, you know, bad for them, but you know, work yeah, good. I think they just have to work on that. Yeah, work on that. Um, I I. I <laughs> my sense of smell isn't like super great. Um, that's the that's the your that's like uh, my superpower. That's, 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 that's her lacking. that's her that's her meta yeah. power. Yeah, it's just a blockage. It's almost yeah, like a shield. I yeah, I don't. I just don't smell bad smells very well. I don't pick them up. <laughs> I mean, I can smell a cookie from a block away, but uh, oh, like we all cho- can. Give me like white chocolate chip macadamia nut or like peanut butter chocolate chips. There I'm, you go. Go I'm down. Sorry, the list. I'm gone. The show's less important than that cookie. <laughs> you're like, you're out of Bye. here. <laughs> How about ice cream? Pretty oh, here much peanut butter chocolate, anything like yeah. anywhere peanut butter chocolate. I don't play like all her the rest of flavors. Her right now, is, is right now she's butter. saying, Sam, you better have a fucking ice cream shop right now because you, you just better. got me freaking hungry. You better. <laughs> Someone go get something. Do it. Send the intern. <laughs> Diego, get some peanut Diego, butter. Diego, intern, <laughs> give me peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> no, you don't really have to. It's way too cold. <laughs> I will shiver so hard. <laughs> that's hilarious. So. <laughs> As, as far as your goals in cosplaying and moving into the future, w- what's in store? Um, I want to uh, – right now I'm trying to do some uh, like slightly more intense costumes. Uh, okay. I've done a lot of like basic costumes recently <laughs> where I feel like I could push myself further, where I could do like like fine edging with like, gold thread, um, work on like glasses more. Um, but I, 
right now I'm also kind of focusing on um, on commissions. Gotcha. Because I really, really enjoy making costumes for other people. Oh, for other people. Because I've made... I've made over 50 costumes for myself wow. at this point because I've been going for around 11, 12 years. Shoot, you should auction um, that shit off. Yeah. Well, I, I actually it. did sell my bell dress recently. I yeah. made the big yellow bell dress. How much did it sell um, for? 10 bucks? I, I only sold it for like 150 bucks. Damn, wow. that's um, well, and I'd, I'd had it for like a year or so. I yeah. wasn't going to freak out about it. Um, but I sold it to this really lovely lady who fit it like a glove. Gotcha. Um, that's perfect. And uh, so I've, I've sold a few, but I've made so many characters for myself. Then I'm at the point where I'm like, ah, where do I go? Yeah. Like, what's my next character? I, I ask people, I'm like, what do I do next that doesn't have very heavy armor? Because that's the hardest thing is very heavy armor. Lawrence, do you have any ideas? Throw it out right, right here in front of our Come on, give me a pen. I got it. <laughs> well, we, you know, the, the, biggest, the, the biggest compliment to any comic book person is to have a, a cosplayer. Are you talking about what I'm thinking? Oh, my God. It would kill. Kill me. Oh you my kill goodness! My son. Oh my what goodness! Do you do? you didn't doing? watch the show where they were on, huh? Or else you'll know what we're oh, talking about. Oh no! I about. think I missed that. Oh. What? What do I do? What am I doing? Oh gosh. Well, well let, let is her it know. Power Girl? Is it the boobs thing? No, no. <laughs> I get that a lot. They're like, do it. I'm there's, like, there's. Well, one of my son, my 15 year old son, <laughs> he actually is uh, doing the comic book, and it's being released in Ooh. January, and he has. Like he believes in female, very powerful females, strong female characters, and and it, he designed characters that look so vintage that you would swear it came out from like the 1960s. And ooh, what's the name of the comic book? It's called The Solution, and the it's solution. it's coming out in January. Plug, 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 plug. Plug, plug, plug. Uh, <coughs> uh, January seventh, and uh, also solution. there's 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 the other comic book that complements it, which is a comic book that I'm doing called the. Cosmic Adventures. So Cosmic Adventures. Yeah, yeah. All right, I wrote yeah. it down. Cosmic Adventures Light Trail. Uh, when's that one coming out? And that's coming on the same date. And they have. You said January twenty seventh. January uh, January seventh. Seventh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Very very soon. Oh, I'm off to work if I want to get it ready for the opening. We'll send you a copy. And send me a copy. We'll send you a copy, and you look at it the, the female characters. Yeah. If I uh, if I see a character I like, I might have a character ready for the opening. Oh my god. I've I have gotten uh, a costume ready in a week before. That's impressive. So I could probably mm -hmm. do it. That, that's a dream. That's a dream for us. Oh, that's yeah. a dream I for love, me. I love cosplaying local. Especially because there, there's it's kind of like the Harley Quinn problem. Yes. Yeah. Where yeah. like there's like a hundred Harley yeah. Quinns because hey, everyone cosplays <laughs> the and same big name character. Rage just it's gave the us reason <laughs> I won't cosplay Harley Quinn. Not because I don't. I think she's a bad character. Or no. I mean, I just don't a like lot. the movie. Yeah. I'd probably exactly. even do decently at it, but. I don't want to cosplay a character that 90 people are care right. cosplaying. I feel, so I feel the exact same yeah. way. Why not support local art? Yeah, if I want yeah. people to support me as an artist, I need to support local artists as well. Exactly, yes. because it, it's twofold, because they'll say, who are you trying to be? Then you explain who you are. Yes. Then yeah. you bring up the comic you, and mm -hmm. the website, and they're like, okay, I didn't know about that. And when yeah. I'm cosplaying a, a local area artist, I keep their business cards on me. Oh, so I go. say, this is my business card, this is their business card. That's so magical. if you want to follow the character or if you want to follow me, yeah, exactly. Um, so that We're way, calling you. Call me. <laughs> yeah, see, so I, lo I love helping out local artists. Yeah, it's so my favorite. See, and that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Again, as you were saying, everyone's going to be Wonder Woman, Harley yes. Quinn. Yes. Everyone's er always yeah. going to do that. And plus, I already knocked those out year one. Yeah. Like, exactly. I, I like knocked that shit out at eight. Yeah, <laughs> years <laughs> one through five. I, it was like 13 through like 15. I got like all my. And Everything. I'm sorry, but Wonder Woman Marvel, and a corset. Marvel, DC, done. <laughs> Yeah. Wonder Woman at a course in 15. I'm sorry to my parents because that must have been oh uncomfortable. Goodness. It must have been That's like, oh, I want to support you as an artist, but man, I I know, know, that I'm going to be a creepy ass motherfucker. Yeah, no, my mom <laughs> You're was 15? very. You're uh. 15. My mom was supportive. She's like, I bought her the corset. Now back off. But you probably look like you were 21 at 15. Yes, right? I yeah. actually look younger now than I did when I was that age. When mm. I was that age, I looked like like mid, like <laughs> mid late 20s. She's That's reverting. Th That's how sage is. Reverting. Her. There's a picture of her 15 mm -hmm. that looks like she was like 25. Wow. And I just recently did. I mean, if you look me up on Instagram at Vic Knives. Like the female Benjamin um, Button. Yeah, I, exactly. Everything's yeah, reversed. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> by the way, I'm at Vic Knives <laughs> on like everything. But if you look me up at Vic Knives on Instagram, I did that uh, 2006 versus 2016 photo. Yeah, yeah. That was the last one I did. Showing how. And check it out. Like, yeah. I look like a soccer mom. <laughs> I look like a soccer mom at 14. How did that happen? And then at 24, that's, how it is. Yeah. that's me now. It's amazing. At, right? It's like puberty done right. You know once. what? You got to show your fucking pictures with the suspenders. <laughs> because his ass Ooh, looks you like you rock those suspenders. You have a bow tie. No, that one Did where you I go full Bill Nye? You know what? <laughs> 
he showed me a picture, and I thought Get all was those like, beakers he, he, wet. I thought it was his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thought he was like. Yeah. I was like, "Is this your dad?" He goes, "No, that's me." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god, dude, you look like you're about 60." <laughs> oh lord. And I'm almost, no, I'm, I'm, no. I'm, I'm not kidding you, but he's fine now. But I'm just saying. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I was happy looking like mid late 20s in my 14, but I don't think I would have been happy if I looked 60 when but, I was 14. Yeah, <laughs> but in that picture, definitely. Well, I mean, I could about booze. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely soccer mom. Definitely like four or five kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I got yeah. four or five kids. I'm yeah. working on like like trying to get the baby weight off. I've yeah. got like I've got like a yoga class, but I don't like go to the yoga class. I just pay for the yoga class. She has a class. gym membership, but just she doesn't like really go. Just like a bitch about Catherine who sits in the back near the door because fuck you, Catherine. Wear deodorant. Like that's that's that picture. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Promise me, Lawrence, you're going to pull up that picture off your phone to I, show her. I will show That you. and the suspenders one. <laughs> oh, God, and tag me in you it. You guys are going to connect so well on this. <laughs> Perfect. Time. We'll just be just souls aging in reverse. Reverting. Reverting. Revertigo, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Now, <laughs> let, let's kind of switch gears because obviously you're a Renaissance woman. You do a lot of different things yeah. other than the whole cosplay thing. Uh, you do... Acrobatics. Yes. Yes. Talk about I risk my life with not enough safety precautions. Now, explain <laughs> what that is to uh, all our novice um, viewers. Well, uh, I I do something called aerial hoop. Okay. Um, which it would be a lira if it had a crossbar. Are you gonna draw which, it so you can yes. show the camera? Okay. And I'm gonna draw it very terribly because don't I don't draw take penis, too please. Long. <laughs> dicks. I'll draw dicks the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if guys can show me my their penis unwilling when Whoa. I don't want to look at it. I'm gonna show them dick pics. Okay, so <laughs> this is what my aerial hoop is. It's basically a hoop over here, a, a, a big aluminum hoop with a chain that suspends it. You know what? You should have um, Lawrence draw you in that hoop right now. He could do it in like three me. seconds. Draw me in a hoop. Oh, pressure. Yeah. <laughs> draw me in a hoop. Um, but uh, oh, I mean, I have some pictures of me performing in it. But uh, it's uh, it's a hoop that's suspended about I'd say nine feet in the air. Um, and you're, uh, you're basically spinning. Wow. You're spinning on a hoop. Um, and you, and you have initiated to hang. a spin yourself. Yes, you're, you're on the ground oh, and you like goodness. flip upside Control down spin. while, while pushing off the ground to spin. And while you're spinning, right. you're hanging from your knees, your feet, your neck, your arm, your, like there are people that can do neck hangs where they're just hanging like this with their arms. That's fucking like amazing. You're yeah. Totally Cirque du Soleil, man. It's, yeah, it's super fun. I, I enjoy it. And you get I've a great only workout. fallen on my head once. Whoa. Um, but uh, it, I perform at the Colonial Theater, okay. um, largely with uh, Amber Sweets. Okay. That's like Amber's apostrophe. And where's that located? Um, it's on Stockton. I want to say Stockton or Alhambra Boulevard. Okay. I always forget. In Sacramento. Yeah, it's it's in Sacramento. Everything um, is in Sac. Yes, it's at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento in like downtown area. Um, and we perform like four or five times a year Rocky Horror Picture Show. Gotcha. Wow. Um, which I'm an assistant director for. Um, and I do acrobatics as like pre-shows and connected with that and at a couple other venues um, uh, in, in the Sacramento area largely. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really difficult. I've been performing hoop for about four years now. Wow. I used to do doubles, which is where I would base and then people would hang off my body. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, so you have to be able to like ha have a person hang off the tip of your foot. You must be strong. I, I strong like bull. Uh, strong like moose. <laughs> strong like moose. Um, but uh, I, I do squats with my fiance on my back. It's uh, he and he weighs more than I do. So that one's Whoa. gotta gotta build up your leg strength. Um, but you, uh, yeah, you have to use your whole body, use your core. Yeah, yeah. And you're basically covered in bruises. And the first time you do it, you throw up because it's dizzying. But after a while, you just feel like a, an angel or a fairy or a demon in my case. <laughs> um, just some winged creature that can fly and do whatever you want. And mm -hmm. it, it's addicting, even though it's super, super dangerous. I do not advise anyone to do it without safety precautions or a teacher first time. Gotcha. Um, but the International Gymnastics Sa Studio in uh, Sacramento, mm. it's in West Sac, is where I uh, started learning gotcha. with my teacher, Crow Alia. How, how long did it take you until you were able to perform? Um, I... Uh, did not do that right. Um, <laughs> I, I set a goal for myself when I started, because I, I, you know, I'm always like, go for Pushing, goals, push. whether you can do it or not. Mm -hmm. Push harder. Yeah. Um. So the first time I practiced, my gig was already set up. Wow. Uh, I had three months, and I was like, wow. In three months, I'm gonna be able to perform doubles. Hollywood style. With this person, wow. and I did. 
Wow. And we did a. So no matter what, three months, that was it. Yes. Yeah. It you, was you no set matter yourself what. a deadline. Well, she, she said she would pull me if need be, and I, my ego couldn't take that. Oh. Um, so uh, in, in three months' time, I had her hanging off my feet and doing like the sign of the crucifix over her body. Wow. Like nine feet in the air. Wow. Um, we, we did a, The Exorcist. Wow. And I was the priest, and she was the. S- Samara? Or you know it, no, what? that's the right. You know what? I have an idea. We should like create like a package performance with thick knives doing performances Ooh, that'd be fun manager and we could make a cut i've actually been looking for a manager because i've gotten too busy where it's hard for me to manage my own bookings right right and um, you could just do independent just, like just performances let me perform tell me get, what i need to do get paid like five grand to do it mm-hmm. easy i'm gonna be my next performance is actually gonna be at uh louder than wolves is a show that's advocating um for women against like yeah. Um, assault, like sexual assault and um, violence against women. It's advocating against that put on by Tim Meunier, uh, who's uh, fantastic. He's given me a stage for a lot of what I do. Is there a website? Um, yes. Uh, Amber's, I mean, you can go to Amber Sweets or Sacramento Horror Film Fest. Just search that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, search uh, primarily, we do a lot of stuff on Facebook. Mm-hmm. So search Sac Horror Film Fest uh, or SHFF. We do the abbreviation. Um, and then our specific acting troupe is Amber Sweets. Amber Sweets. Um, Tim Meunier puts a lot of that on. Props out to Tim Meunier. Yeah, Meunier. 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 It took M. me two Meunier. years to pronounce his name. So and you're I just will- fucking it up the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, Meunier. Meunier. And he's like, bless his heart, he never corrected me. It took our director, because Jessica. Because you scared the shit out of him. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to freaking. <laughs> oh, no one scares Tim. No one scares Tim. He just had a baby. He can't be scared. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he puts that on, and he's doing the Louder Than Wolves show. I'll be performing acrobatics at that to the song uh, "You Don't Own Me" by Grace. Nice. Yeah. Uh, with with clips of uh, That's the Trump. That's Suic- uh, Suicide Squad song, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. With with clips of uh, of Trump on the van wow. on the bus spliced into it. That's wild. so. I, I can see like, that visual just capturing the like, emotion. Uh, yeah, I do whatever I want. I grab by the pussy. I don't yeah. ask. You don't own me. Yeah, that oh, song is like it just, it just encapsulates freaking oh, it's pro just, woman. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's very like we can do it. <laughs> so I'll be I'll be performing Ariel there mm-hmm. um, along with some other fantastic performers, including Croalia that I mentioned earlier, and uh, Krista Quinn, who is probably one of my favorite performers in the Sacramento area area. That's area, awesome. area. See, that's, that's great. Silly. That you completely support the local yes. talent. Yes, in Sac- Krista Quinn is amazing. Um, she's I'm gonna be performing with her at a Star Trek show in mm-hmm. Oakland at Tourette's Without Regrets. Okay, nice. Um, we'll be doing a, a, a God, I cannot think. Worf, Klingon, Klingon, Klingon routine. Okay, mm, I like I yeah I like I like local artists and Krista's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, I kind of miss the Sacramento area because from '98. To about 2000, I was working for KSFM on a 2.5 over on Howell Street yeah, for the radio station, doing mix shows and, and DJing there. And uh, it was it was kind of a drive coming from Pittsburgh, hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. Kind of, you know. But nothing. I loved it. You when you love something, it doesn't matter. You do what you, you just, need to. Yep, you yeah, do. It's it was just the uh, the perks of being able to be part of radio station and that exactly. whole culture. And the thing back then was that Sacramento was quote unquote kind of like behind what's going on here in the Bay. And I firmly didn't believe that until I started going out to the clubs and I started seeing that people were dressed a certain way. I was like, okay, we are in SAC, <laughs> not in the Bay. <laughs> but that was uh, back then. Yeah, well, now, Sacramento has unfortunately got a bit of a reputation yeah, for being but a bit of a dead scene. But you I know, know what? so Every, many people that are working to revitalize. You know what? It's all changed now because mm-hmm. – the internet kind of like weaves that whole time. Brought like him to lagging. modern day. Yeah. So here's SAC fire. And it's easier. Yeah. SAC is now everything's equivalent. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah could we could go to our, freaking especially Anch- with the new stadium and everything. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you could go to freaking Anchorage, Alaska, and they're freaking same as here in the Bay. It's just a trip. That's just the way the internet kind of like mm-hmm. connects us. Yeah. Especially after the whole Kanye thing. Now everyone knows who Sacramento is. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know on a. I think all that was just stage. He's over there freaking going. Maybe, hey, you know, if it wasn't, I wish him all the best. If yeah. it was, dude, you might be a genius. <laughs> like you might really be a genius. Like, now, bravo. Now, <laughs> to, to kind of like uh, go off uh, off the subject, uh, did you get a chance to vote? Yes, uh, I did vote. And did you vote for? 
Uh, yeah, we'd like to know. You realize I'm in an anti-women's violence like yeah, I, I, yeah. Trump, I'm just right? trying to make sure if it if <laughs> yes, it's, I voted. Yeah, I third voted party Clinton. aspirations. Originally, or? I voted Bernie, and yeah. I uh, in the primaries because I was like Bernie. I'm I'm all about it. Yeah, yeah. And then when Bernie was like, "Dude, vote vote Clinton. We need to, you know, be logical and sensible and rally again against." behind someone who can defeat a demagogue. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to go against a demagogue, uh, narcissist, racist, yeah, uh, yeah. sexual assaulting, uh, Damn, just that, that. Tyr- tyrant, like uh, our, pro- possibly our first dictator. Yeah, I'll vote against that. <laughs> um, no, not possibly, probably. He's keeping his business. He's in the apprentice. We're a mess, guys. We can quit. Yeah, I'm yeah. The, the apocalypse Scotland is just Europe. around the freaking corner with this happening. Well, it's, I got my baseball bat in the car. <laughs> it says big knives on it. That's still, like, you should have brought it in. I oh, want to see hey, that. babe, could you get my baseball bat from the car? <laughs> Let's bring it on the show real quick. My baseball bat? It's got we're, my name on it. It's for practice. Thank you. And, You're beautiful. And Diego, let him in when he steps out. That way it's a, a seamless it's a transition. Got, it's got my name on it. And, and who, who put that together? The bat? Yeah. I did. Okay. Wow. And I, I got a bat. It was like a, a boys baseball bat mm-hmm. uh, for like young boys from like a Goodwill. Okay. I sanded it. I painted it. I wow. wrapped the handle in electrical tape. I hand painted my name on it. Yeah. And right before I use it, I kissed the handle right next to my name. Oh, so you have a little lipstick impression. Uh, impression. It's like faded off right now. It's every time you before I kiss use it, it, I kiss it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got my I got my real, red lips. There you go. Add, add it on real quick. That's a yeah, character. Like That's a character. You got to do that as a character. <laughs> we have oh, a living character. Yes, we do. Superhero here on this land. You know, well, I, before I'm gonna, I should have done my the performance book. stripes, I do uh, two stripes next to my eye before I perform. Should have done them this. We're time. gonna make you a character. Well, ooh, this big year, nice. this Can coming I be a superhero? year, superhero. We'll, we'll, we'll make you a, a, a character for sure. Yeah, well, well, there's a lot year. that she's gonna be able to present <laughs> beyond what she's doing here on the Slam Show. I mean. Believe me, this isn't oh, the last I've time. Got something. This isn't the last time you're going to be on the program. She's going to run for president. Uh oh, <laughs> there is way too much in my past that I will get. <laughs> I, I, you know what? If Trump can do it, I can do That's it. That's right. Thank you. Victoria, there you go. thick knives, 2016. There you go. There you Not go. 2016. Uh, 2020. 2020. 2020 or 2020. 2020. My vision ain't that. But She's going to bring. She will bring this country back. Yeah. And I will make America great again before Trump. <laughs> <laughs> when was America great? Before 2016. Before like my, it'll make sense. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, yeah, as, as far as Sacramento, uh, again, I, I miss going there be, because of the whole being out. You had your semi-farm element, mm. your semi-rural mm-hmm. outlook, but yet it City was still. City of trees. Yeah. Uh, but you, you had them all there. And then we also have actual trees. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you've got stoners now. <laughs> so so you have Arden Fair Mall and mm. the State Fair there. Yeah, we have yeah. the State Fair, Arden Fair Mall. We've got uh, like three different film festivals that go through oh, really? there. Wow. Um, yeah, we've got Love Horror, Sack Horror. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got, a, I think, an indie, another indie film festival. You know what? I would we've all got four different Rocky Horror troops. Have like you ever tried out for the Sacramento Kings? For as a dancer, I because it looks I like could you could probably do it. You could, yeah, I know. She, That'd be fun. She's an acrobat. Of course, she can. Um, I can. She well, can perform during halftime. Thing time. is, I can only do like cartwheels. I got, I got to do a round off. I got to get my floor work better. I'm better in the air. You I know what? Just I have me descend with a hoop while the cheerleaders go. I'll have a great time. <laughs> Done. New right? show. It'd be so Ooh. cool. See? Hire me, Kings. New. Hire me. I'll do it. And, and if I fall to my death, yeah, 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 yeah they're they're Lawrence and I are, yeah, we have dual If I agency. fall to my death, your no, your numbers are like double, like <laughs> be way cooler. They'll be like, who's gonna die this week? <laughs> oh man, I won't. I promise. Sweet. No liability. <laughs> Do you have any of, of your acrobatics on film that we could see, like um, uh, on I YouTube have, or anything? I have some on my Facebook. I should really put them on YouTube. You should. Um, yeah. I have some on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably upload. Here some. comes the bet. Oh, here, here comes, comes the my baseball bet. bet. <laughs> Thank you, up. my beautiful and amazing assistant. Yes. And fiance. And this is my baseball bat. Um, oh, so you know what? For some reason, I was... Oh, there you go. There you there go. There it is. There it's legitimized. For some reason, I thought there was going to be like spikes. And so did I. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see. Yeah. Well, you think I have to perform with it. And so like I'll dance with it and do stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you need to have it where it's Yeah, I did, a, I did a show at Blue Lamp, and I had to swing it around like this. Whoa, okay. And, <laughs> well, <laughs> I've practiced. I fire dance. I have to do, I, what? Yeah. yeah I you, do contact you, staff. Okay, so, okay. Which I think I'm the only girl I know in Sacramento that does contact staff. It's mainly a... A men's. Can, can I see this, please? Yes, it's mainly a men's thing because it's a big steel staff. Wow! But if I can do that, I can swing a baseball bat around, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Vic there you knives. go. The Vic knives non-nailed <laughs> bat. You should have 
one on one with nails. Yes, oh, yeah. one, I have one with that for nails, the next show. One with uh, like uh, spikies. Uh, what's it? Barbed uh, wire. Barbed wire. Yeah. Yes. And then just one that's completely sequined. So the next show, <laughs> you're gonna have to bring that in. Those, I will. Those two new one that's covered bats. in blood, and you're like, oh, you made a new one. I'll be that's like, gonna what petrify Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he hates it's blood. It's not new. <laughs> Lawrence hates blood. It's the old one. I need to clean it. <laughs> he doesn't want to eat it. He oh, I have blood gel in the car. Oh, actually. I, oh, funny thing! I am it's also an hot. I am also an accomplished makeup artist. <laughs> okay, I've done makeup Amua. for for uh, moi. Moi. Uh, I've done uh, makeup for some movies and stuff. Uh, and I my favorite thing to do is special effects makeup. Nice. Where it looks like there's glass in your skin and like your eyeball. You could do all out. that, the 3D stuff. Yeah, I, I did it, making it look like my mouth was like oozing blood. Wait, 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 wait! You sure? Because that's like a new trendy thing that people are no, doing. No, I've been doing that for oh, years. Oh, please, 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 find it. Find yeah. It. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I need don't, that evidence. Don't start with me. I got evidence. No, but I've um, seen that on like on my timeline where people would post the, the 3d effects i'm like dude that's fucking incredible. oh yeah well i'll, I'll use scar wax and liquid wow. latex yeah and wow. like, like blood gel and contacts and stuff right yeah, right um how, and I, how long have you been doing this um i started when i was 12 because i didn't have friends <laughs> um, but probably because you have glass in your face and you're walking around <laughs> and your parents were kind of scared i went to school with red contacts and like black corsets in marin <laughs> county <laughs> it like, doesn't surprise my, me uh, sir something in my terrifying. eye <laughs> you're a female version of matt Abaya. yeah now, yeah, yeah, always, yeah, wears, totally. always wears the vampire totally. eyes. Mm-hmm. Totally. I, I did that totally. all the time. It was my favorite. And I'm like, oh, that's why I didn't have friends. It you probably scary. freaked out the teachers. Like, uh, is, uh, are you okay, honey? I don't feel hey, too good. <laughs> why does she have to sound like that? Dude? I always <laughs> got really good grades. But that, okay, so uh, I have a friend that just moved to Hollywood and he's on Teen Wolf now. Oh, His name's really? Dwight Taylor. I, I worked with him on some movies and did zombie work. That's nice. me with blonde hair. Nice. Um, I did that one. Oh wow. Okay. Um, that was one of the one of the ones I did. I'm I'm looking I'm looking at you, um, and I'm beginning to think I've actually seen you before. Probably. <laughs> around these shows. Um. That's yeah. I, I I like. Uh, wow. And you did wait. Obviously, you can do your own makeup, yeah, right? You did. Yeah. You did. Just yeah. I made it look like my skull was coming out. It was fun. Oh, you had a mirror and just did. Well, everything yeah. I just had a, a little a little like my my palette mirror. And I was sitting on the floor in a living room. Sam, the woman swings in the air. I think she could practically do I makeup the in the car. I am <laughs> practically. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she, 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 I could probably. Well, I mean, my dad's a mechanic. I could probably make a car. So it's just in your DNA. Yeah. yeah. Just it's to do everything. She's a meta. One for another zombie That's you. film. Yeah. For another zombie film. Wow. Who are you? Um, a, a fucking superhero. <laughs> <laughs> she is. I'm oh, Vic Nimes, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, but that one, that film was called Sinners and Saints. Uh, and I, w- I was a zombie that uh, ate a man alive at the end with my two zombie kids. Wow. wow that they were not my kids, but I did their makeup. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's family togetherness for you. Yeah. 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 We got so together for a nice you. holiday meal of flesh and brains. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're coming down to the end of the program. Uh, before we do, we're going to have some shouts and plugs, uh, starting with co-host Lawrence. What's happening? Uh, just a Shout out to the ICI team out there. Just thanking everyone for supporting us for the last few weeks that since we come on to the Slammin' Show. Um, again, thank you all as things are coming up in January. So, And thank you very much, J.D. Charisma, for plugging us away as well. And back to you, Sam, for plugging us whenever you get a chance. Yeah, we, I'm trying. I'm trying because that magazine is coming out when? In January 7th. There you go. That's going to be awesome. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, Vic Knives, take it away. Oh, I got a couple. Um, I uh, I do want to uh, replug Louder Than Wolves, which is on January 28th. Are you reading Colonial something Theater. now? You already have your list? Yes. I'm oh, prepared. Shit. I graduated UC Davis. I ain't no Bitches. basic bitch out Bitches. there. <laughs> Acting like I ain't got a degree. There shit. Go. There you go. Um, uh at, and I, I, I and uh, I wanted to plug uh, our next Rocky Horror Picture Show, which is on, fe- on February 11th, also at the Colonial Theater. Um, uh, and I also wanted to plug Tourette's Without Regrets, run by Jamie DeWolf. Yes. Um, in uh, in Oakland, right here. Um, I'll be performing uh, there in January, January 25th, I believe is the date for that one. Lots of things happening in uh, January. Yeah, I, I have, I think, three or four. I also have a performance with Zombie Club nice. in uh, in Sacramento uh, where I'll be performing to a song by The Killers, which is fun. Nice. Um, so, yeah, check out uh, Love Horror and Sac Horror Film Fest in Sacramento. I work with them. They're pretty great. And then, of course, Scattered Comics with Jason Doobie. 
There you go. And your personal social media? Yeah, my personal social media. Now that I got other people out of the way, <laughs> I should plug my Needles and Knives Etsy store. Needles. Search Needles and Knives, one word, um, on Etsy. Uh, I have a lot of, uh, of wares there. You're welcome to check it out. And check out my page on Facebook, Vic Knives. Um, I'm the only Vic Knives there. I didn't have to do, like, numbers. Um, uh, check out Vic Knives for updates on my modeling, my acting, my acrobatics, my... All of it. Just updates on my life. Uh, check it out. Give me a like. Uh, send me a message. Say what's up. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Any Thanks shouts and plugs for anyone specific? Oh, anyone specific? <laughs> like, 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 like the amazing Lorian Burry. There who's you go. got a, a project coming up. He's got a project coming up that he will be releasing with uh, John Gallagher. Um, they are they are writing right now, and it's pretty pretty freaking impressive. Mm -hmm. Other bands like uh, Humble Wolf and Color Twenty One. There you go. Are also coming out with some amazing amazing things. Check it out. I think they should win some awards. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> see, brother, I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. She was gonna slip up and I, I didn't shit. know if you wanted me to plug him yet because they're still in their writing stage. It's okay. But, it's but okay. hey, check out Lorian Burry and in the near future on SoundCloud. Because that's his personal SoundCloud, and he's got some really impressive stuff on there. Because what happens is, this is all archived, right? They could say, hey, you were mentioned way back when, when you weren't mm -hmm. even on the show. And, yep. that's, and that becomes And a I can also one. mention them now and make them work. So I can be <laughs> like, hey. Yeah, they and, now and they're committed. Andrea Starling, Audrey Von Price, get, get, your, get your stuff out get there. Get your shit going. Um, no, they've got their shit going. But like, start <laughs> posting, because I'm going to send people your way. There you Look go. them there you up. Go. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. I'll go ahead and close out the shouts and plugs. I'd like to thank everyone here in the studio. Uh, Lawrence, thank you for coming through as yeah, a co-host. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And being able to come through for the events and so forth. It's been awesome. It's been fun. Uh, Victoria, thank you very much for coming onto the program. My pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me. I had a really great time. Yeah. yeah I've been wanting to get you on the program for Ever since you've been starting, all you the gotta whole, do is ask. Well, because I didn't know who the fuck you were before. So <laughs> I, I <did>. who the <laughs> fuck is you? Exactly. What is yes. juice? Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> you came on the program. It was a delight to have you. Speak away, yes. the Renaissance woman that you are. Oh, Continue success you. moving into the future. I'll try. I'll and try. We'll definitely get you back to talk about more. And you will have to have another bat I with the bob wire. Those yes. baseball bats. Yes. Just like personally, like paint people's names on it. Lawrence, you're going to have to draft the uh, management agreement really quick. Yes, we do. I need a management team. I, I am currently we're, we're to a free agent. Oh, oh I am unmanaged. She is managed less. We, yes, I need manage more. And we, we need, need management. to put her in print, too. Really <laughs> exactly. Quickly, a, a comic book mm -hmm. character. Exactly. Uh, shouts out to Rock Rage behind the scenes working the cameras. Whoop, whoop. Our, Thank you. Our incredible audience. Uh, Mr. Fiance man in Mr. the house. Mr. Burry. Yeah, Mr. Burry. I apologize. It's okay. I got you. Yeah, thank you. You got me. You. I got you. Yeah, we'll we share. got each other's back. <laughs> uh, Diego, the mouse chaser in the house. He's <laughs> <laughs> the mouse slayer. Mm -hmm. They're enjoying the program, so we need to have our audience to energize us and keep us on focus <laughs> mm -hmm. and on point. And uh, get my baseball back. Exactly. <laughs> Special thanks out to Lady Sage. Uh, Captain Fantastic, the entire Slam Show crew, all of our sponsors and affiliates, including Davinos and Pleasant Hill. Thank you for all your support. And that does it for this episode. We'll see you next time on the Slam Show. Peace. <laughs>